Come on, dudes. <laughs> Ratatouille. Ratatouille, yeah. Ratatouille. We should see that. <laughs> yeah. Here he is, look. Wait for his next. And answer his next general election. <laughs> oh, well, yes, later. I just see what you're doing on this. It's programmed drums this, so yeah, yeah. Um, we'll, we'll play it through. I've sort of added a few bits, okay, different, cool. and we've only actually played that one together a couple of times. So we can experiment with this instead of having the gap before the chorus. I thought maybe uh, you know, the yeah, that's what you mean. Either have you or something else. To yeah, do if, the if, if it is me, I'll have to write a different line because the first line doesn't make any sense in the second time. But yeah, that, that, that song was pretty much there, and then yeah. save some woes for the end, you know, the whoa, whoa, you know, well, that's I like whoa, whoa, it don't really matter. Well, I like that, what you thought was there. Talking about Teletubbies. Mm, yeah. Whoa, 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 yeah, um, yeah, like well, yeah. Well, we nah, nah, nah. Vocal pads from the chorus. We can do news. Yeah, who knew? Who knew? Who knew? Nah, nah, sound alright. Pop thing to do with that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're, we're here at uh, the studio uh, with Matt Matt O'Grady. He's the uh, engineer producer for this album, and uh, we're getting on like a house on fire. Really, never, never, never worked with him before. But the um, you know that was kind of part of the appeal. Really, we wanted to push ourselves into something we've never done. It comes from a slightly different background, all rock, but it's fair to say a more sort of pop punk um, kind of background. You know, there's some gold discs and whatever for Yumi at six and Don Brocco and Architects and all that kind of stuff. So it's it's a little bit more on that that modern side of things rather than classic rock. But, you know, he's bringing his, his way of doing things and we're bringing our way of doing things and hopefully it's going gonna, it's gonna to work, you know, in a, in a, in a unique way. You found me here. <laughs> 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 I love it how they score people out. Let's give a right good sniff, don't we? <laughs> I'll have a field day on that jacket. <laughs> <laughs> smell your pants. <laughs> Mutt Lang in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Only me. I've got a good old polish. Good old polish. Have you done your red as well? <laughs> Just doing the bell. No front skin. Just uh, waiting for the mics to go in. And I'll tell you about you. We spent the day, day number one. Well, we got a yes, we got a yesterday really. So uh, we had a bit of a sort of getting to know your day. We didn't do a lot. We set the drums up in the live room uh, to let them sort of get used to the air and the space. Um, you do that, and it just helps them stay in tune. We set them up, and then we basically went out, had a few drinks with Matt, talked a little bit about the the the, the um, just shot the shit really. Lots of talked about lots of different things. Made a rough plan for what how we're going to tackle this album, and today, which is the first sort of real day of a uh, of a uh, of work, we've been um, playing every song, just on acoustics, sat in the room as you've seen, and just that's the time to bring up any kind of concerns or thoughts or ideas or whatever to to any of it. It's mostly about drums, but one of the things is about the bass, and the bass is actually played not on the note, it's just slightly behind the note. Yeah. 
and that's how they get mm. well, one part of how it the bass and the drums make the rhythm. Yeah. The kick drums ever so slightly in front, which makes the rest of it sound quite lazy, but it's like on the just yes. in front of the note every time, and the bass is just slightly behind. How that sounds like to... Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. to perfect that. Yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. And, uh, and to be honest, we're flowing through them pretty... I thought we'd be picking them apart a lot more than we uh, did. But there's been a few changes sort of made, you know, kind of notes notes put down, uh, ready for when we start recording the drums, which will be in the next day or two. It's been a good 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 part of the process, and any bands out there, you know, I would uh, advise you do this, even even at this stage, if you can afford yourself the time, when you're in the space, you're in the studio, just to, just have a play through the songs, just sat around on acoustic, and in and, and the the song has to kind of be there. Even in that state, you know, just just playing acoustically, dead quiet, and you have to be able to play it, and everyone has to be sort of sat around and going, yeah, that sounds great, like this. If it doesn't sound good, then you know, doing that it kind of highlights any problems that need to look at. So there's been a couple of songs where we've played and we've gone, ah, that chorus hasn't quite got it, you know. Doing it this way without the loud drums and the loud guitars going on, it just helps you. Yeah, Identify those things that need a need a, a last look. It's well worth doing. What's happened? You know, I've got a, this, there's a snare strainer bent. I've got a new one, but I haven't replaced it. It's just. To move the cymbals uh, like really high, which is a lot higher than I normally have them. But. Keep away from the bleed. Yeah. Stop him bleeding in. Yeah. Mm. Cool, try the snare. Trying that snare sounds. Day three. Snare <laughs> it's been ten days of this. <laughs> Day fourteen. Still on the snare. Some serious uh, stands then, aren't they? Is that the snare you had on before, or did you have the jalapeno one on before? This is the. Well, we started off with the jalapeno one, and then we've. Oh, it's, uh, for this one. Right. Now, who lives in a house like this? <laughs> Get out, steamy in there. Steamy. I'm sure Bowles is cooking today. Steamy. He is cooking a uh, chicken there. Uh, <laughs> Chicken pasta for tea! Fucking great! <laughs> Chicken Al Bowser. Chicken Al Bowser. Mm. Get him into the right. a bit. And Chili. fucking strangled him and skinned him himself. And eggs Al Roy. <laughs> Chili Al Roy. It's all right. Sorry. Well, the rest of the guys are watching YouTube clips of old videos of uh, all kinds of crap. I'm uh, writing. Just extra bits, <clears throat> thinking on the songs, um, uh, doing all kinds of little bits of that song, little bits of this song, just parts that I think could be improved. Just sort of recording, recording them on my um, 
on my laptop and, uh, and playing around with them just to see if any ideas throw themselves out there really I'm not um, you know not, don't really have any specific things to work on just but there's a couple of ideas though that have sort of emerged through the day and uh, Matt has very kindly lent me this uh, Rockman by Tom Schultz of uh, Boston back in the 80s he designed these um, the, these little boxes you plug your guitar in and there's like a few effects it's all like digital effects and uh, it sounds incredible it really sounds amazing you have to listen to it through headphones but um, I believe Hysteria a lot of the guitars on Hysteria were recorded using one of these which is insane given the, the budget that album must have had you get these for a couple of hundred quid now um, but yeah so that that's that's kicked a few 80s kind of inspired ideas out so I've just got one of them down now this is going to sort of stay set up through this first week while we're tracking the, the drums because once that's done it's going to be kind of too late to get anything new and any new ideas down so I'm just kind of really this first few days really piling on the um, trying to really pile on the creative side of things so that any any extra ideas can happen right now some some great songs have come out like this in the past like uh, Please Stay Calm happened like this, that was a last minute studio song uh, House of Noise was as well so you know they, they really do come out um, at, at any moment, it's by no means it's by no means over just because we're in the studio um, but yeah that's what I'm getting on with, it's the end of day one we got the drums set up, tuned properly, the mics set up, some brand new mics, of um, some new Coles room mics of Matt's all set up and ready to go uh, tomorrow. So tomorrow morning I think we'll go in and maybe tackle a song, get some drum sounds together, hear them in the room um, and who knows, that's that's basically what, the, what tomorrow's plan is. Hopefully um, It'll go smoothly. We'll start getting some songs down, start ticking them off the old, uh, the old list, and uh, maybe look at a couple of brand new ideas as well to see if anything can get going creatively with uh, Baz and the rest of the guys. So yeah, that's it. End of day one. It's going well. The train's death rows even more clearly.